New vlog and we start with celebration. Our mechanic Dennis has a birthday, so let's go surprise him. A package full of beer, what Dennis likes the most. I hope you like our present. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Dominic, everything hurts, man, from Nepal. It was yeah. a long trip. My neck still hurts from the right. <laughs> Definitely, but it was uh, it was worth it, right? Yeah, you'll see the video is going crazy. Man, guys, thanks for all the love you give us with the comments under our YouTube videos. And yeah, we're gonna definitely come back to Nepal, maybe already next year. So it's a day back in the garage. What do we have to do? What's the plan? The plan today is we need to do the oil change on my 690 Duke since this is the only bike that I have now at home. All the other bikes are already on the way on the planes to different shows. Let's get to work. My boys are busy with customers. So today I'm gonna make my hands dirty and do all this stuff alone. We're running the KTMs for so many years. Why do you like them? Because it's so easy to transform them into a stunt bike. It's a very good base to make a stunt bike. It has already a steel frame out of tubes. So a lot of uh, other stunt bikes, they cut away the aluminum frame and put uh, tubes uh, frame on it. This bike has it already. So we also develop so many stunt parts for that bike with the plug and play system. So it's very easy to transfer them and the engine hold for very long. So really reliable, good brakes, good suspension already when you get it from the shop. So it's a really good stunt bike. So yeah, that's why I love those KTM so much. Okay, let's bring a new bike. Which oil are you using in your KTM? Usually we are using in the regular bike a 10V60 Motorex full synthetic oil. But since my stunt bikes are reaching really high temperature, we are using the thicker oil. So a 20V60. And maybe for some of you that doesn't know what means all of that numbers, the viscosity or the thickness of the oil in the low temperature and in the high temperatures. Maybe why it's not good to use a thinner oil? It uh, doesn't withstand the high temperature and it's also not good to use a too thick oil. So the circulation is not uh, good enough and it doesn't reach the camshafts. You need to be specific on the oil, especially when you have a heavy wrist. So I'm gonna change now the oil and also we have all the filters here. Yeah, it's a quick job, so quite easy. Well, Yo. You're searching for the ring for your girlfriend? <laughs> oh. What are those sizes? No, the, yeah, different bolts, different sizes, but uh, when you change something with a copper, uh, how you say, washer, uh, you need always to throw away the copper, put a brand new one, otherwise the oil gonna leak or yeah. Same at the uh, brake lines, same everywhere where you have the copper washer. Also, when you do a uh, oil change, you have this wire mesh filter, wire mesh. Do you know how you say a metal kind of uh, filter? I don't know. No anyway, idea. it's a uh, out of uh, wire uh, stuff. So this filter, if it's dirty and bent and it's already old, it's I prefer to change it, but this one was changed not really long time ago. So this service kit includes a brand new one, but I'm gonna use the, the old one. I'm just gonna clean it with the brake cleaner to take out all the debris from the engine. The rock on tech tip when you make the oil change do it by the warm engine not a super hot but warm engine why the oil is more fluid so it goes faster out and all the debris is collecting in the lower part of the engine so when you open also the debris is coming out so it's better to change the oil in a with a warm engine not with a cold one are you gonna fill the whole bottle in? Actually two liters and you see this window here, 
this kind of window all the bikes have usually you fill it up to the hub I'm filling it up up to the 80% so when I'm wheeling it the engine still has enough of oil so it doesn't break down so it's very important in stunt riding that you fill up a bit more of oil in the engine so another liter done oil change is done fresh blood in my 690 Dominic so now it's time to hit a spot right to no, no, no. I heard something about the pizza <laughs> okay, pizza, yeah. I forgot always about lunch. Dennis, you hungry? Mm -hmm. Okay, everybody's hungry. So let's go for some pizza and then the spot. Here's our favorite pizza place. Yeah, I'm hungry. I'm let's eat some pizza. Man, the rain disappeared, so we need another plan. Man, it's sunshine, no rain, but so last time on YouTube when I checked my fellow stunt riders, they made a really fun game. What I mean, I will show you later, but now I need first warm up and throw some cool tricks to practice a bit. Okay, let's capture them. Down in the That one was good. Dominic, you wanna bet for a beer? Yeah, of course. The bet is, first try, I need to jump from this position over the handlebar on the seat into a short wheelie. Oh, the beer is already mine, I think. <laughs> I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Okay, let's see. One more try. No, uh, it's it's new try, new beer. Anyway, back to the topic. Uh, yeah, let's hear your idea. Ah, okay. Do you know the limbo dancing on the beach? Stunt riders call it limbo drift. A small challenge of the practice spot to have some more fun. All right, so first we're gonna start with the higher position. On every try we go lower as much as possible. Everything set? Everything set, Dominic. Are you ready for some limbo drift? Let's see how low can you go. Okay. This one was too easy. That one was easy, it was just for warm up. So let's go 10 centimeters lower. Level number two. <laughs> Okay, level three. Oh. You wanna go jump an Olympic Games or what are you doing with that stick? Oh, I don't wanna go to Olympics, but I want to put that thing on the fire. You change your lens, I put the fire, we do the last try. Okay. Down in the I did it man, it wasn't the perfect drift, but yeah, it's quite dangerous, I feel I burnt my skin since the, that's a hot plastic on my gloves. Then so it's, it's good that you had gloves and goggles. So you see, it made a hole in my gloves. So it was a super fun day, right? Man, super fun. I love the fire tricks when we use it in the vlogs, man. I really love when we do tricks with a big bike. Really? Oh yeah. I mean, it has more power than the smaller Duke and yeah, more power, more fun. Guys, let us know in the comments below, should we do more tricks with the 690 or some other bikes? Drop some comments below what kind of bike we should use in the next one. Man, Dominic is always filming, so I'm just gonna take this. Guys, 
It's probably not in focus, but... Yeah, anyway, if it's not in focus, you see us. That's Dominic on this side. This is Dominic. That's me. And yeah, that's it for this time. See you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe. And until then, rock, rock on. on.